Today we're going to talk about the Tangzu One Air. This is another budget IM in the $20 range, competing with the Salnote Zero and the Truthier Ola. It's kind of interesting to look at this price range and see how much has changed in such a short time. It's interesting to look back at something that would have been recommended just a few years ago. Like for example, look at something like the Shure SC215. It was a really recommended IM and is still popular in some professional use because it has a good reputation. But comparing it with a lot of stuff that's out now, you can see that there has been a really big movement in terms of tuning with a lot of IMs in this space. It's easy just to take it for granted, but we're in a really nice situation where you can buy one of these IMs for about $20 and have an overall tonal balance that can be a lot more preferable than a lot of other options we would have had a few years ago. It's just something to think about. And remember, these are $20 IMs, so you could focus in a lot and really try to scrutinize it, but just thinking in scopes of the whole picture, you really can't go wrong with any of these for 20 bucks. A lot of these companies are focusing a lot more now on having box art that's eye-catching and also helps them stand out. Typically lately this has been done with anime characters and mascots. Tangzu seems like they looked at all those box arts and ended up releasing like an actual piece of art as their box art for their IM. It actually looks quite nice and it could be a nice display piece if you so desire. So about this IM compared to the others, it seems to be a little bit lacking in terms of accessories and its feel. It definitely feels like a cheap IM. It doesn't come with very many accessories, just a basic cable and some tips. It doesn't have a case. And then in terms of build and feel, it does feel a bit cheap. It's just a typical hollow feeling plastic shell. But in terms of sound, it's actually pretty decent. Compared to something like the Ola, which feels a lot more sturdy, and sometimes it's hard to tell which parts are resin or metal, or even the Silent Note Zero, which does feel a bit plasticky and in my opinion, I think looks cheap, but it is a bit more of a sturdy feeling I am as well. That said, what about the sound? So here it is next to the Harman target. And as you can see, it does seem to have the same level as bass and a, similar so and a similar sort of rise to the upper mids, although it does seem to lack the Harman bass notch, which is fine. Some people say they don't like the Harman bass notch because it seems to take a little bit away from vocals, and others do like the Harman bass notch because they feel it helps make things sound clear and a little bit less congested or bloated through the mids. With this IM, it does seem that a lot of the focus is more in the upper mids and vocal range. Although it does seem that with the emphasis in the upper mids, as well as a little bit of treble peak, there does seem to be just a slight bit of shoutiness and some emphasis in S sounds, which I didn't quite like, but it wasn't a deal breaker at this price range. Also, since it has an upper mids and vocal sort of boost, it does seem that the low mid range area here does help to sort of balance that out a little bit. So I think in this particular case, if it did follow the Harman sort of bass to mid curve, it might have emphasized the upper mids just a slight bit too much. So I think in this configuration, it is fine. So compared to the other two options with the Ola, and also the Sound Note Zero. I think personally, this is probably my least favorite, mostly just because of how it feels and its fit. Although sound-wise, it isn't too bad. It is nice to have the option for a bit more of a mid-range focused IEM at this price range.